We need to be smarter, better in the way we handle the Ashta. Hey, how have you been? Staying out of trouble? I suppose you could. Things here have been, well, they're better. The ice has thawed a bit between me and Davis. We'll probably never be friends, but at least we're on speaking terms now. I think he finally appreciates the value of my research. Yeah, we're much better as a team, even if it is a cautiously engaged one. In fact, speaking of Davis, I have to confess, I'm a little worried about him. In analyzing the recent data, I've isolated readings suggesting that someone is making patrols far more often than in the recent past. I don't have any direct evidence, but I know it's Davis. It's gotta be. I'm worried that everything I've inadvertently put him through is kinda, I don't know, pushed him over the edge, or at least a little too close to it. I have recognized that Davis has an emotional reaction to my presence. We're on speaking terms, but he still gets agitated. I don't want to make things worse. I'm better with statistics and circuits than I am with people. I've already made a mess of this situation. Do you think you could go speak to him? If nothing else, it would ease my conscience. Oh, brother. Why is it every time I see your face, I bet a headache's gonna follow shortly after? Mm-hmm. All broken up about it, I'm sure. So what can I do for you? Right to the point, then. Ah, that woman, I swear. Even though we've smoothed over most of the rough spots, she still manages to strike a nerve without even trying. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Not sure yet. When we were out there and we found that robot, obviously that threw me for a loop. Still can't believe one of my own people will pull a stunt like that, endangering us all. But the more I thought about it, that whole episode doesn't account for some of the tracks I saw out there. Too large, too spread out. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. If there's a bigger Ashta out there, something meaner than what we've seen so far, I have to know. I tell you what, if you and Kiona are worried, why don't you just come with me then? Either I get an extra gun in the fight, or you get to laugh at the old man and say, I told you so. I'll give you a chance to gear up if you need it. And uh, maybe grab the biggest gun you got, just in case. All right. You know, Kioni showed me her data. She's a clever kid. She's got a lot of things figured out. I think we can make some real improvements in the future. She had a couple sets of data that she thought were erroneous or something. But it seems to me that it might not be. Bigger, faster, Ashta sounds like it matches up with the tracks I've seen. But I tell you, I'm hoping she's right and it's just a glitch. And uh, no need to tell her I said that. Wouldn't want it going to her head. All right, here we are. Let's head this way. I remember a story from the first time I was here on Aquila. I had totally forgotten about it till recently. Every so often we get independent types who think that they can succeed where everyone else has failed. Some of them stride off into the wilderness, certain that they're going to make more credits than anyone in history. Mining, botany stuff, whatever. 
Warners just don't get through to them. Most of them don't come back. But this one time miner from some corporation or other, he drags himself back into the city bloody and half dead. Claimed he seen a ash the big as a house out there. The older guys all said he was delirious. And me, well, I was new as anything and just listened to him. Now, though, I'm wondering if maybe it wasn't just blood loss in the heat stroke. Maybe he really did see something. Maybe I should have come out here a long time ago. Shit, that's gotta be it. No matter what happens, you make it back to the city and tell them about this. You hear me? I'm not gonna lie to you. I didn't think we were gonna make it through that. If you hadn't been with me, no way I'd be standing right now. <laughs> you are something else, you know that? We got out of lie this one time. That's good. But this ain't gonna be the last time we have to deal with this. Now that we know these things are out here, we need to track them and keep them out of populated areas. And that plan is gonna need everybody. So, I'm gonna swallow my pride a bit here and ask you to go tell Keone what we found. Let her know that her data wasn't an error and that she needs to focus on it. Oh, don't worry about me. Thanks again for saving my ass. You have a nice day now. So, what happened? No, he didn't. There's no way Davis would say that, even if it's true. But it is true, isn't it? My data was accurate. You know, I was really hitting a point where I was starting to think maybe this was all a mistake. That I stuck my nose into something I shouldn't have. Davis was so certain they had everything under control that they didn't want or need my help. But they did, didn't they? Yeah, you're right. If anything, this has proven I should trust my instincts. I need to get to work on this immediately. But while I've been sitting around, I whipped up a little something for you. I thought it was funny. Uh, now that I'm giving it to you, I'm hoping it's not in really poor taste. Anyway, thank you. Again.